What are we looking at here? The foreign spokesperson of China is Watching showing a, a video of... Uh... This is... Uh, I just wanted to show something. This is a basically a glorified paper shredder. And yeah. when you have one of the top, the top mouthpieces of China... Yeah promoting this as some sort of massive development. I think it's absolutely hilarious. And I, what I wanted to talk about there was that mm -hmm. they have to do this kind of stuff and they have to make these token examples because this is not across the country, by the way. No, of course not. This will be in like uh, experimental areas. And what and, they'll do... And I'll tell you one thing, that this will stop working... Yeah. Oh, like yeah. After a, oh, yeah. Like maybe a year. <laughs> yeah. You'll go there and you'll want to do this. Yeah. It'll be jammed up. It won't be Doesn't maintained. Yeah. And they'll have given up on it because it served its propaganda purpose, which is to prove that China is so advanced in green tech. I guarantee, if you dig around mm -hmm. and you look into this too, yeah. that this will have been promoted as five G AI. I'm not joking. Yeah, I'm. I'm guessing it would have. Yeah. The reason I want to do this is a follow up to our last week. Uh, episode mm -hmm. where we showed a clip of China's recycling centers, which we've seen. Yeah. And it'll be a bin, yeah. a garbage bin, and it'll yeah. say recycling, plastic, waste, you know, whatever. And you take the lid off and it's one bag. Yeah, it's one thing. And they do, they have to run, the thing is like Hua Chunying has to run campaigns like this to show this kind of stuff to counter those. Because those yeah. things will go viral and be like, oh yeah, I've been to China. Yeah, they don't recycle at all. Yeah. I've been to China. They're, those, those garbage cans are one bag. Yeah. Right. It's a farce. Yeah. So they do this, and this is like supposed to counter that. Look at how to high tech our, you know, shredding. Yeah. Shredding recycling is. Correct. Anyway. All right. So what do we have next? I, I think I saw an, another one of those, uh, what's it? A trackless train? Yeah, in the same vein, really. Um, a while back, I saw a very funny tweet by a guy. Um, mm -hmm. And they were posting this trackless train. Yes. Right? And the guy in the in the quote said, Mofo, that's a bus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just a bendy bus. You Just know what I mean? Mofo, that's a bendy bus. So why do they keep promoting this thing? <laughs> this is from the World Economic Forum. So the right. WEF, right? The, I mean, this is like a, a, a body that is supposed to be respected, right? And they are promoting China's bullshit, yeah. fake ass nonsense again. Yep. And they again, run on rubber tires instead of tracks. I mean, imagine <laughs> quote, imagine being the WEF, right? Yeah. And you're using that as a quote, and you're sitting there, you proofread it, you send it to the proofreader, and they're like, yeah, that checks out. And you're like, no one sits there and goes, that's a fucking bus. It's just a bus. It's a bus. They've, they're everywhere. You go to any big European city or something, you see these big yeah. bendy buses, yeah. you know? So it's got a bus with a couple of carriages connected to them. It's not a train, Okay. That runs they run on, on rubber tracks. Yeah. Well, I mean, rubber tires. Or rubber tires instead of tracks. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, exactly. And the guy here, Rod, or the advocate for social housing, advisor, consultant, mentor for the whatever. Commerce Certainly, trackless tra trams, also known as autonomous rail rapid transit. Art. Utilize rubber tires. And he goes on to say... And this person, Amine, says, The concept of trackless tram was introduced by CRRC in China. Like all these respected figures... What are you? Who are you kidding? Are you? Yeah. Are do you need help? Yeah, do you, exactly. Do you need to go a back to school? tram? It's a bus. If I showed that mm -hmm. to a child, a little child, I'd say, "What is this?" They would say, "That is a bus." Yeah. And guess what? They're right. It's a bus. It's a bus. Yeah. Anyway, I I can't believe this keeps coming up. So this is going around. There's a music video. Yeah. Uh, it's very popular on Weibo and WeChat right now. It's going around, um, and it's. Basically, uh, in promotion of the drills uh, for invading Taiwan. Yeah. And they're really trying to wet people's whistle mm -hmm. uh, for saying, we're going to invade Taiwan and you're going to be okay with it. Yeah. They've been putting it through the education system. Mm -hmm. uh, this says, the Eastern Theater releases the Battle Training MV a music video, Reading the Strait, which is the Taiwan Strait. Mm -hmm. It's the area between Taiwan and mainland China. It's where they'll have to invade from. Yeah. And there's this whole. Um, music video promoting the the soldiers and the, the PLA and the Navy and stuff. Yeah. And they're trying to get people ready for, yeah, they're, you know, testing public perception and getting them ready uh, and worn down. Yeah. Be like, yeah, okay, we're going to invade Taiwan now. Yeah. It's not cool to see this kind of stuff. No, and they're getting everybody on board, obviously. It's yeah. going viral. Everyone's like, yeah, we're going to take back our Taiwan or whatever. Yeah. I, not, not yours, never video. was. I'm not going to play the song because... No, uh, we'll, we'll get copyright, copyright for sure. Uh, and it, <laughs> su it sucks, by the way. It yeah, I mean, sucks. how can, how's it going to be good? It's that crap Chinese generic rock, mm. you know, that's like just that typical gravelly voice, like Woman cookie cutter. Woman do yum, yeah, do yum. Woman do yum. <laughs> yeah, that one. It's like yeah. that guy. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Something like that. I think yeah. your lyrics are chop do. Yeah, yeah chop do. 
It's my my lyrics are more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talking about propaganda stuff. It's yes, like TCP that's correct. Stuff. Yeah. Um, anyway, can we continue? Yeah, we, we don't need to keep watching this. It's okay. I just it's just to like get random military drill yeah. crap where they show like knockoff aircraft doing getting knock red, off like military stuff. Looking across the the strait. I love this phonics this phonics what lesson. What is this? No, hold on. Before you pl click play, okay. Just let's look at it. It's got like a mouth, and it says "speech inappropriate after lunch." What year is it? After lunch, that's inappropriate. <laughs> speech incomprehensible. What year is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> but what do you okay. what do you think about when you see that mouth? Looks like Xi Jinping. <laughs> it does, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, so it does. I just threw in a little she there. Don't okay, let's take a so look. Can... Does it not look like Xi Jinping's mouth? It certainly does. It really does. That is a she mouth. Yeah. She's way, you know? Yep. <laughs> Wash your mouth. Yeah. She's way, dude. This man is very curious, and he's on a subway, and it's hard to sit through. It's it's just cringe. Yeah. It's cringe. It's not it's not horrible. It's just cringe. You want um, him to like stop though. Maybe a quick peek. You want him to stop though. You asked for it. You get it. I love that there's an open seat next to him. Well, there's two open seats yeah. next to him. So she's he's like, like leaned in. Look at look at how deliberately like he moved in. in, and he's like looking. This guy is so annoying, dude. Oh, what a hot juice all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chinese Benjamin butt. <laughs> he really does look like he's growing backwards. Yeah. Micro croc. He's a. <laughs> <laughs> I said croc.